All right, lads, welcome back to another Stogie Lad Cigar Review. Today we have a pretty new, it's not brand new anymore, uh, but it's a pretty new Cuban cigar. This is the Por la Arañaga Galanes. So this was announced in uh, 2020, uh, but as with uh, as is customary with Habanos, it took a while to get them out. Uh, they started reaching markets in 2020, uh, and Sweden was a little bit behind there. I think we got them kind of late 2021. Uh, they reached markets in 2021, as you said, last year, uh, and we got them about a year ago, uh, maybe a little bit more. Uh, so yeah, I've been excited to try these, but I, the ones I was able to get my hands on, because they've been pretty hard to find, they sold out pretty fast. They were very, very green, very young. Uh, they had an ammonious type smell. And I, I didn't want to review a cigar knowing it would be almost unsmokable. It's, it's kind of worthless, right? So I've had these for about half a year now. They, the ammonia smell is gone. Uh, they're smelling nice. Uh, they're looking nice as well. Uh, these are very well rolled. Uh, as most first edition <laughs> Cuban cigars, when they're released, they're usually very, very good. They're usually very well constructed and very well blended. I think Abanos want people to, to keep buying that Vitola, so they want to, you know, get good ones out on the market first. Yep, this is perfect draw. Very, very nice. Mm, lots of Cuban twang. This is a short Robusto, which is getting pretty par for the course uh, recently with Cuban cigars. I mean, it's a very popular Vitola. It's been for years with the non-Cubans, but uh, the, the Cuban cigars have sort of the, sh the new punch, uh, short the punch was a short Robusto. This cigar, obviously, then uh, the new Cohiba Ambar, which is coming out. They're all short Robustos. It's a 52 ring gauge. It's 120 millimeter or four and three fourths uh, inches. So very standard sort of modern Abano in that sense um, with this Short Robusto, short and a little bit fatter Robusto. Mm, really good, extremely good burn um, and uh, draw, I should say. Uh, really good smoke output. And wow, lovely, creamy, heavily creamy, dense Cuban twang. A little bit of nuttiness, a little bit of spice. This is opening up very nicely. Uh, but of course, I'm going to let this develop a little bit more and uh, get back to you guys in uh, the first third. All right, so just 10 minutes in here into the first third. It's b burning pretty quickly. Uh, I I was uh, expecting this a little bit. It is a very, I could feel it when I picked it out of the humidor. It's a very light pack, this one. It's got a normal draw, uh, but it's very light for a Cuban cigar. Uh, but the draw itself is perfect. It's just a, a little bit lightly packed, so it's burning faster than most cigars would. Um, it's it's burning all right. I had to touch it up a little bit um, a few minutes in, but after that, it's 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 helped itself. It's a light to medium cigar, as most Porlañagas have been in my experience. It's very nice though. It is very nutty. It's got a lot of baking spices. I'd say those are the prominent notes, and then a lot of creamy Cuban twang. It's it's a very sort of dense smoke. There's a lot of smoke coming out of this. And there's no harshness, which is a little bit of a surprise. It's a nine-month-old cigar. I did double-check. This is a 2021 October box. So it's very, very young. You have to keep in mind with Cuban cigars, that means it came off the roller's table then. It wasn't just sold then. You know, So it's, it's completely fresh still in the grand scheme of things. But no harshness. There's no bitterness. There's no sort of you know ammonia or whatever. First third, though, still, so it could change. But so far, it's, it's, it's quite, uh, quite a delight. It's, it's very simple but it's it's not bad so uh showing some promise we'll see how the second third develops and i'll get back to you guys then all right so about 25 minutes in and uh, the burn has gotten a bit slower here for sure uh, i guess i'm at the halfway mark i'd say so it's around what you would expect for a petite robusta right now uh the flavor is pretty much the same i'd say there's a more pronounced sweetness that's the main thing here in the second third it's more of like a clear nougat uh, sweetness now that nutty note is still present, obviously, but the sweetness mixing in makes it a sort of a nougat style sweetness. And it's very present on the finish, which is long, a long, long, rich finish. Uh, the burn has been spectacular. It's actually correcting itself, so no more touch-ups needed. Still an excellent draw, still excellent smoke output. So it's good. It, it's still very simple, though, right? Because it's, it's, it's the nougat sweetness. It's a little bit of spices. But that's very much in the background, and it's a creamy Cuban twang, and that's really it. So, yeah, it, it's not a crazy, uh, 
complex cigar, but it's still so extremely young, right? So I'm just happy that the flavors are good so far. Um, but we'll see how the final third uh, develops. It could get very harsh. That sometimes happens, but um, I'll catch you guys then. All right, so I'm 45 minutes in, and this did end up lasting quite a while. I mean, I could easily have gone 50, 55 with this. I mean, there's quite a bit left, as you can tell. Um, but this is starting to sour a little bit now, a little bit, not not awfully, but it's classic young Cuban cigar. I mean, it's it's not it's not delicious here in in the end. It's a little bit bitter and a little bit sour. Still, though, I'm very happy with the cigar overall. I'm gonna give it an 87 points, uh, which is solid. I mean, I think this has a lot of potential. Uh, the sort of baking spices and uh, the sweetness that's there with the nuttiness. And that heavy Cuban twang, it's 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 nice, and I think these will the rest that I have, I'm definitely gonna age for a lot more. But I think these will age quite nicely, uh, and they are you know they're worth a try now if if you just want to see what it's like. It's a little bit different from the uh, Petite Corona's uh, flavor profile and the the Monte Carlos. This is a little more robust, I'd say, uh, but it is light to medium all the way through. Again, though, it is a it is a young cigar. I think it's gonna refine itself uh, with years to come. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that's the Polonia Galanis. I'm happy to try this one, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video as always. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.